Hey guys, in this video I am making a hemp necklace with as few end knots as possible. When I say end knots, I mean the knots that you usually tie at the beginning where your bead is and at the end where your loop is. And it is a little hard to explain so I'm just going to show you. I am first starting out with two pieces of hemp that are the length of the necklace that I am going to make plus about three or four inches on both sides for some slack that we are going to be needing. Then I have about an 11 foot piece of hemp that is folded in half and that is what I'm going to be using for my knotting piece. So these two that are the length of our necklace plus a little bit are what are going to be in the middle of our necklace. So the first thing that I'm actually going to do is just make a loop with it just like this and then I'm going to take the 11 foot string and where I have it marked where the half is I'm going to put it right around that loop and then I'm going to make our first knot around our hemp necklace so to do that you will take in my case the right side first and make a, a four over your work like this. Then you will take this one and make sure that it goes down over it like this behind all of your work and into the loop on this side and pull it all the way through and pull that tight and that is the first loop for your hemp necklace. Now that we have our first loop on there, we can measure our bead up to how big we are going to want these loops to be. So to do that, just hold our knot that we just made and pull the long strings down. We're going to want to keep as much slack as we can so we don't want to pull the short ones. And just keep sticking it in there and pulling this knot up or down. You can just move it anywhere you want pretty much. So just move it up or down and measure how big you need that to be. You want it to be just about the size of your bead. That knot right up to the bottom of it. So then pull that knot tight again right where you want it and make your next knot by again making that four making sure that this one goes down over here and then through this loop on this side and again pull that tight so now that we have two knots on there and that is not going to move as easily I like to get a safety pin and stick it through my loop. This is just my little way of doing it. And then I safety pin it to my pants so that I do not have to hold it anymore. And then I continue making my knots around my hemp necklace, making sure to keep these little ends in here until they are gone. If you get about 10 knots down and you would like to cut those off, that is fine because it obviously does make your necklace a little thicker at the ends. But you will just keep knotting your hemp necklace as you would making it normally. This is a spiral knot. I'm not doing flat or any special thing, just normal hemp knotting. So now that I have done some stitches or some knots, I am just going to cut off these two extra strings. And 
and then keep knotting on down like I would normally. When you get to the point that you want to add your bead in the middle, or any beads anywhere I suppose, you will just put that right on the two strings in the middle. And then you will continue making knots just like you were right after it. And it will just hug that for you. And like I said, just keep on making knots right after that. Okay, I have now have my middle bead on and I am almost all the way worked through my necklace on the other side now. Here's my loop and here's the side I'm still working on with my two strings in the middle and the two strings that I'm working with still. So I'm now going to put my end bead on. and just put it down here somewhere and fold this over again like we did the first time. Then you want to turn it so that we're still working down towards the bead and again do a hemp necklace knot over all of those strings. So those strings are loosely in there still, just like they were the first time. And we're just going to measure our sides up to each other. And see if that bead is where we want it to be. And just slide it around by pulling these two strings now. And if it is, then again pull that one tight. Turn it back upside down. And continue knotting up to the bead. When you make it close enough to your bead, I like to leave enough room so that it can rotate on there a little bit so it's not just stiff as a board. And then you can go ahead and cut these strings out, making sure not to cut your work so it doesn't unravel. And they are hidden. So with these two ends, all I do is we have our very end knot there. I tie one regular knot on the ending side, go to the other side, tie one regular knot and another regular knot. And you can cut those off as is or what I like to do sometimes to make sure that this knot itself is not going to come undone, I actually dab just a tiny bit of super glue right here on this knot so that that will not come undone. And there is my hemp necklace. I did not cut off my strings for right now because I do like to make sure that those are secured and I do not have any super glue. But I hope that you guys found this video helpful and if you did please hit the like button and make sure to check out some of my other videos and until next time guys.